Hey guys, what's up? What is up? It is Kuya Jason from Our Life in the Philippines. We are on our way to the mall. I got some exciting news. And also, I need to ask you guys for your help. I need your help. Please, I need your help. <laughs> in what, you ask? Well, let me tell you, uh, I am getting ready to make some good videos. Got some good videos coming out. Got some ideas here. And the first video will be, well, it won't be the first one, but uh, what I need your help on is I need questions. I want to answer all of your questions. Today is my one and a half year anniversary of living in the Philippines. So I've been waiting to make this video until I've, you know, lived here for quite a while so I could get all the answers. There's City Hardware. That's where we, it's the Home Depot of the Philippines. So I need you guys in the comment section to please help me uh, write down all of your questions that you may have. Anything about the Philippines. Not really about our life. I mean... That's not interesting, but uh, things about the Philippines. An example would be, can American buy a car in the Philippines? How much is rent in the Philippines? Uh, how much does it cost to live in the Philippines? Uh, visa questions, driver's license question, gas prices, food prices, like I said, rent prices. Um, all, all the questions that you guys have, when you write a question, I will highlight it. I'm gonna pass this motorcycle here. I will post your question on the screen as I'm doing the interview with myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I will answer all the questions that you guys have. Um, I want to talk about some of the videos that we got coming up. Uh, today, you've probably already seen the video because it'll probably come out before this. Am I in the thing? Am I in the video? Mm -hmm. Looks like your face is facing that way. You're in the video. What are you talking about? <laughs> got my big head in the video. Uh, so today, I'm going to be going to uh, McDonald's. Uh, we're going to Rosales, SM Rosales Mall, and we're going to go to McDonald's, and I'm going to compare the prices with a couple locations in the U.S. Um, I do watch the news every morning when I wake up. I catch the uh, evening Fox News, Jesse Waters, Sean Hannity, and... Uh, Greg Gutfield. I like watching him. He's funny. He was funny. My dad actually turned me on to him. He, uh, I didn't like Greg Gutfield. I thought he was kind of arrogant and not funny, but after actually sitting down and watching him, he is pretty funny. So I give that credit to my dad. Credit where credit is due. Let me get past this guy. People drive so slow in the Philippines on these scooters. Um, so all your questions, yes, I want to answer all of your questions that you have. Um, yeah, so today we'll be doing the McDonald's. Um, from what I see on the news with the inflation in the U.S., it's just getting crazy. It's out of hand. So I'm going to be comparing um, the province McDonald's prices with... I'll probably do Tampa, since I'm from Florida, Tampa area. Be doing uh, prices at one of the McDonald's from there. And I'll be doing prices in California for McDonald's. And maybe Pittsburgh, because my brother's in the Pittsburgh area. And he's always complaining to me about the prices at McDonald's. Can't even feed a family for like less than $40. That's just ridiculous. No more dollar menus. Dollar menus are more like three and four dollar menus. Um, so then, next week, 
stay tuned. We're going to take my little brother-in-law to Clark, which is near Angeles City. And we'll be doing an ATV excursion. We're also getting a really nice hotel at the Widus. Is it Widus or Weedus? Weedus. Weedus Hotel, which we actually stayed in a long time ago when I first came to the Philippines to visit my girlfriend, who is now my wife. We were dating at the time. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> we stayed at the Weedus. And, uh, you know, I was just getting into the YouTube, so it wasn't a very good video. I don't even know if you'd call it a video. It was more like clips because I was so afraid to film in public. But now I just don't give a shit. You know, being an American, a big American, I stick out like a sore thumb. This is um, this is uh, Bayambang. This is what it looks like in Bayambang. Let me check my GPS. I'm going to be turning. Over there on the dome. We don't actually ever come to Bayambang, there's crazy traffic. crazy traffic, and there's not much here really, as far as like shopping, turn right. yeah, turn right, turn right, so we pretty much stay out of Bayambang, uh, that's one of the small towns near our town, Kimmeling, there's Jollibee, Jolly Bee on the corner. We're going to be making a right here. It's not too bad right now. It's, uh, what time is it? It's 1 o'clock. 1 p.m. It is 99 degrees. Today is Tuesday. And I'm going to get my tobacco. Uh, so another question you could ask would be uh, is it possible to get snuff in the Philippines and it took me a while to find that answer I wish I wish somebody would have made a video like this for me when I came over because man I had so many questions and I just couldn't find the answers it is possible to get snuff in the Philippines. I get snuff every couple weeks, and I'll talk about that in the video if I remember the question. If you got that question, please remind me. All right, so I just go straight. Uh, <laughs> look, here's another one. They got these- Mobile store. What are they called? Mobile store. These people, they- uh, load up their buggies. You gotta be very cautious when you're driving in the Philippines, probably like any Asian country, because the uh, kids, dogs, goats, will just run out in front of you. So you always gotta be watching side to side. Keep your head on a swivel, as they say in the military. Um, so yeah, so uh, McDonald's video, then we got the ATV excursion, we got the hotel review. They have a really nice pool. And since we've been there, they've done some renovations. So we'll uh, check that out. We get free breakfast. Oh, not enough room. There we go, sneak through. Um, you can just film the road, huh? Nobody wants to see my ugly mug. <laughs> uh, then we're going to do a video on, is it possible to live in the Philippines on $500 a month? The reason why I'm doing this video is because, believe it or not, a lot of people, because of the economy and because of Bidenomics, I won't get into politics, but Bidenomics, obviously I watch Fox News, so tell I'm a Republican. Uh, the economy is just shit from what I hear. And a lot of people are actually moving to the Philippines. We call them expats. And uh, when, when you go to the mall, you start seeing more and more 
Americans, Canadians even. And the reason is it's just too expensive in the US, you know? And so I wanna make a video, is it actually possible to live in the Philippines on $500 a month? I know it is possible because the average salary for medium class or middle class uh, Philippine Filipino is about $500 a month. When I met my wife, Christine, she was working in a call center and her monthly salary was about $500 a month. And she lived, you know, she had her own apartment. So is it possible? Yes, it's possible. Do you want to? Probably not, but we're gonna go over that. I don't have all the numbers yet. I haven't uh, done the research yet, but I will be doing the research. Look at this fat guy on a scooter. Uh -huh. It looks like me on my scooter. <laughs> Big 300 pound American on a scooter. Uh, then we're gonna do another video of the actual cost of living in the Philippines, pretty much like our cost, uh, with a car, a scooter, going to SNR every month, buying American groceries, um, having an air condition, having a two family house. What does it actually cost? So, to live comfortably, you know. Um, I know the average. Social Security pension in the U.S. is around $900 a month. So we'll see if you can live on 500. If you can live on 500, you can definitely improve and live on 900 a month. So we'll go over all that. But please, guys, give me the questions so that I can uh, put it all together in a video and I'll give you credit for your question. I'll put it up on the screen with your name. Um, what else, hon? What else we got coming up? What? Medical, you got medical questions, how to use the VA, which is absolutely terrible. Um, there are other options, which we could go over. Um, the VA will actually pay, I live way out in the province, you know, way, really far from the Manila VA. So what would happen if I broke my arm or twisted my leg and had to go to the hospital? We can go over that if you ask it in the questions. Um, there are options for reimbursement through the VA, through TRICARE. And so I'll look up, you know, I need the questions so that I can look up the answers for you guys. I got a bunch of questions on my head. I can't sleep at night. I lay in bed and just think about these videos that I want to make. I'm so excited. And I want to get these out to you guys. So, I guess that's about it. I'll put this video out there. So, I'm please asking for help. Pleading. Asking for help. I need help. Guys, be more... Uh, responsive in the videos leave comments because we love to read the comments and I love answering questions I was a trainer in the military a teacher and I loved when students would ask questions so alright guys well that'll be the end of the video here so asking for help that's what it's about not asking for money. I'm sure a lot of you have seen asking for help and thought I was asking for money. Not asking for money. But, alright guys. Until next time. Peace.